Sunset International Speedway. Rebuilt from the ground up in 2009, it is arguably the finest speedway in the province and indeed the whole country. So if you find yourself lucky enough to own this place, you need a car to take advantage of this automotive jungle gym. <laughs> hey, check it out. A completely hand-built custom Mercedes SL. Who knew? So now the SL stands for sports light, but the standard car weighs over two tons, which means it weighs about as much as a rhinoceros, which is also big, mean looking, gray, and incredibly powerful. Except I think this one's got a bit more carbon fiber. In fact, it's got a lot more. The front spoiler, the hood, the wheel arches, and the rear diffuser, and a few other bits and bobs on the inside, are all completely carbon fiber. So now with all that weight saving, it's down to about as much as the average size hippo. And the interesting thing about hippos is that they kill more people each year than lions do. So I think I'm in the right place. Mainly because the owner of this car and the track is just over there. I'd rather the car kill me before he gets a chance to. In fact, I think I'll put the top down so that if something goes wrong, I'll get thrown clear and hopefully far enough that I could get a head start because I can run pretty fast. It only takes 15 seconds and it never gets old. I mean, I grew up with Transformers and this thing is a freaking Decepticon. With the top down, it is an entirely different experience. You're able to take in the sights and the sounds. But looking out the window in this car is kind of like going to the movies with your girlfriend when you're 19. If you watch the movie, you were doing it wrong. Now it's not an out and out sports car. It's a GT car and a bloody fast one. I wish I had this car when I was 19. I would have had a few more girlfriends. How much power has this thing got? <laughs> I don't know. The owner hasn't had it on a dyno. Zero to 60? I don't know. Fast. Top speed? Mercedes limits it to 155, but with that limiter removed, God knows. And I've only got a third of a mile here, so I'm not going to be able to find out. And considering that I would never go above the speed limit on a public road, we may never know. But one thing I do know is that this thing handles, and not just going left either. It turns in and it just will not let go. And a lot of that comes down to the tires. These things require special mention. First of all, the rims have more dish than one of Chicago's finest. And the tires are 345s. That's bigger than you get on a Murcielago. And sadly, I won't be burning rubber today because they only make one batch a year. <laughs> I had to do it. I just had to. The track wants me to. NASCAR racing started during Prohibition. Bootleggers needed fast cars to outrun the cops, and they needed a place to hone their skills. So, voila! Oh wait, no. Uh, Daggummit! NASCAR was born. And you can feel the NASCAR DNA infusing this car. It could definitely outrun the cops, and it feels like it wants to. I'm a bootleg mobile! Get out of my way! But I think you'd have a hard time blending in once you did, because this thing kind of stands out just a touch. But as good as that Benz is, I couldn't help but think you might want something more track focused. Built motors, 2,800 pound tube chassis, asymmetrical weight distribution, and slick tires. I'll bet the engineers at Mercedes don't even know cars in places like this exist. These cars are built to do this. Going left is 
in their blood. Just listen to them. It sounds like being eaten by a bear. And they're vibrating everything. I should have taken one of those to the movies. That'd have been a hit with the girls. It's just too bad there's no back seat. Or passenger seat. Or radio. Or really anything. The SL doesn't stand a chance. This track is over a half a kilometer long, and the fastest guys here can do a lap in just 13 seconds. That's faster than the Benz can take off its top. Now, as fast as these racers are, they were built for racing. You can't take them home. So if you find yourself owner of a track such as this, get yourself a racer for the track, because let's face it, you can probably afford it, and get yourself an SL for everything else, because they were just built for fun. <laughs>